hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i'm going to show you how to add your yahoo mail into microsoft outlook without getting any error so make sure to watch this video till the end because i'm going to show you some important steps in the end so that you may not get any error while using yahoo mail into outlook so the first step is you have to make sure you are logging into your yahoo mail account because we are going to make some changes into your account settings here in the end and I'm going to tell you why you have to do that so make sure you are already logged in and then you have to open your outlook this is my outlook you have to click on this file here you have to click on add account you will get a window like this here you have to enter your name you may use any name you want here you have to enter your complete email address so let me enter here you have to enter your email address password here make sure you are using right credentials re-enter your password here Now click on this manually configure server settings or additional server types. Click on this. Click on next button. You have to select this option. This is selected by default internet email. Then click on next. Here you have to enter incoming mail server and outgoing mail server. But before that you have to select this option IMAP from this drop down menu. Here you have to enter incoming mail server so I have already this page here so I'm going to leave the link for this page in the description of this video so don't worry about this this has all the settings to set up I am AP server here you can see incoming mail server settings these are mentioned here and these are settings for outgoing mail server so we are going to use these settings so first of all copy this and simply enter here incoming mail server now you have to enter outgoing mail server so again copy this and paste it here now you have to enter username here again make sure you are entering your complete email address here enter your password make sure you have selected this option remember password click on more settings and you will get a window like this here you have to click on this tab outgoing server click on this select this option and then select this option here you have to enter your username and enter password here get this option selected click on advanced here you have to enter incoming server port but before that select SSL from this drop down menu you will see a change here the value has changed here if this doesn't change after selecting SSL here then you have to manually enter this after selecting SSL now you have to select SSL here also and here you have to change the value and you can use any of these two numbers here port we are going to use 465 so let's enter this 465 and then click on ok you are ready to go now click on next now outlook is going to test here that whether we have provided right information or not by sending a test email and if that gets completed then you will be able to use yahoo mail in outlook so you can see here we are not getting any error here and i'm going to tell you why i have not received any error you may have received an error in a form of a pop-up asking you about your username and password and it doesn't matter how many times you enter that 
username and password outlook doesn't allow you to use your yahoo mail even with these settings so i'm going to tell you why you are receiving that error so jump into this yahoo mail in your browser and when you will take your mouse over this gear icon you will find these options here you have to click on account info here you have to click on this tab account security in account security oh shit i'm logged out so let me logged in once again in account security if you will scroll down you will find these two options here two step verification and allow apps that use less secure sign in so if you have enabled this option then you have to follow another procedure which i am going to tell you in a while but if you have this option deactivated here this is activated right now and because of this i am not getting any error and if you are getting a pop up window which is asking you again and again for your username and password and you have entered right username and password still you are getting this pop up window then you may have not activated this option so make sure you have activated this option here and i'm going to show you what is going to happen if we are going to deactivate this you can see here i have deactivated if i close my outlook and i reopen this i'm going to get an error in the form of this pop up and it will not allow me to use outlook you can see here it doesn't matter how many times i try to get login it will not allow me so the solution is you have to enable this option and this time when you will click on okay you will not get that error so this is how you have to fix this but what if you have enabled two step verification basically two step verification allows you to make your email account more secure by adding a mobile number to your email account and once you log in you are going to receive a text message on your number which you have added to your yahoo mail or any other mail account so let me first of all activate this and then i am going to show you what you have to do to get rid of that pop up message so first of all let me enter this here and verify now i have activated this and when you will activate this you are going to see this window for now i am going to skip you can see here two step verification so the first thing you have to do make sure that you have that option activated allow less secure apps and the second one is if you have activated this option then you have to click on this generate app password before setting up outlook before setting up your yahoo mail into outlook here you will get this option let me show you outlook desktop or outlook android these are two options so if you are trying to set up yahoo mail on your android phone then you have to select this option if you are trying to set up yahoo mail on i operating system it means ios on your iphone or your any apple product then you have to select this option i'm using desktop so i'm going to select this outlook desktop and see what will happen you have to generate a app password here by clicking on this here is this app password so what you have to do you have to copy this and while setting up your yahoo mail into outlook you have to use this password instead of your default yahoo login password while setting up okay so this is very simple if you have two step verification method activated then you can not simply use simple your default login password to set up your yahoo mail account into outlook okay you have to generate a password for the device on which you are going to set up your yahoo mail into outlook so this is very simple so make sure if you are using 
this option two step verification then you may use app password and use that password while setting up your yahoo mail account into microsoft outlook and you are not going to get any error that pop up error and you will be able to use yahoo mail into outlook so this is how you have to set up yahoo mail into outlook without getting any error so i have completed almost each and everything i occasionally post videos on issues like this so make sure you subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video please like please share and please subscribe to my channel see you in next video